Warning. Censorship. Warning. Censorship. Warning. Censorship. David Menzies for Rebel News here in Toronto. Well, folks, I'm standing in front of Express Fitness, the Scarborough location. And it was funny when Adam Skelly, the owner of Adamson Barbecue, was shut down on that very same day, uh, Express Fitness was opened in Scarborough. And uh, much like what Adam experienced, uh, the owner of uh, Express Fitness, Alex, well, law enforcement, bylaw, uh, they were dispatched very quickly. He was immediately shut down. And now the gym is padlocked shut. Actually, it's changed shut, if you can believe it. And so here we are with a group of people uh, that are opposed to the lockdowns and they are having a demonstration in front of Express Fitness. It's very odd though, everywhere you look, there are police cruisers, police SUVs. Um, there's even parking enforcement here. I don't know why, but the um, no one's going in the gym. They can't get into the gym. So we're just curious as this protest proceeds, are they here to write up tickets perhaps for those in an outdoor gathering of more than 10. So we'll see what happens. And in the meantime, I'm going to wander into the crowd and just find out what it is that's bringing people out here today. We're actually here to do the police's job for them. As you may or may not know, police in this province, at the very least, but I think the whole country, but definitely in this province, in their oath, it says that they're, they're sworn to uphold the constitution. And the very first part of the constitution, as you know, is the charter of rights and freedoms. So uh, that's what we're here about. This place is shut down for your health, you know, you're supposed to be able to go to it, work out, and that's, you know, that helps your immune system, right? It's supposed to help your immune system to fight off the virus, and they're shutting it down. Why? Where's the evidence? Well, folks, this is incredible. We were tipped off by one of the demonstrators that the mounted unit was on standby. I didn't believe it at first because the gym is completely closed down. You can't get into it even if you wanted to. So where is the issue here? Where where would the law breaking be uh, unless they're going to clamp down on peaceful protesters? But lo and behold, here we are on a side street next to the gym and two units of the uh, the mounted unit are indeed on standby. Uh, it, I'm at, almost at a loss for words. John Tory and Dr. Ellen Davila are truly doubling down, tripling down, sending a message to any business, and for that matter, any group of protesters, that if you cross any perceived line, you are gonna be dealt with and dealt with harshly. This is an outrageous overreach, I think, uh, by the, the police, which of course are being directed I believe, by Davila and Tory. Shameful. Well, that was the scene last Saturday at Express Fitness in East End, Toronto. The gym is shuttered now after the owner tried to follow in the footsteps of Adam Skelly, the father of the great Canadian barbecue rebellion. But much like Adamson Barbecue, Express Fitness was also shut down for non-compliance with the Wuhan virus regulations. And Mayor Tory's Hogtown, if you want to barbecue, if you want barbecued grub or buy brisket or break a sweat, you best get yourself to a Walmart or a Costco to buy your meat there or purchase a treadmill because you see, the big box stores, well folks, they're special. In any event, here's what you had to say about the ongoing clampdowns that don't seem to be doing anything tangible other than causing people a whole lot of grief. Mike Sharkey writes, so Toronto is completely crime free now. All the criminals have been uh, tracked down and locked up. The cops have nothing better to do with their time. Yeah, it sure seems that way, Mark, but I bet you the vast majority of the cops hate these kinds of assignments. Imagine finding and arresting people just for trying to make a living. But if you have to blame anyone, Blame the mayor and Premier Doug Ford. They're the ones behind making life miserable for so many people in the GTA. 
Dale McCluskey writes, the mounted unit is there to make certain your rights are trampled into the ground. You know, that's what happened at Adamson Barbecue two weeks ago. Thankfully, the horses weren't deployed to break up the express fitness protest, but why were they there in the first place? X Supra 35 writes, all businesses open your doors now. You are essential and we need you now more than ever. I'd love to see that happen too, X Supra. If hundreds or even dozens of businesses opened up at the same time, what could be done about that? They can't lock down every business and imprison every business person. But for the time being, it looks like Mayor Tory's intimidation tactics are working. And Mike Mills writes, where is Sneaky Patrick? Oh, <laughs> as in Sneaky Patrick Brown, that lying liar who is the mayor of Brampton. I have no idea, Mike, but if I were a betting man, and I am, I'd say he's playing hockey with his buddies at some rink. Because remember, folks, one thing this pandemic has taught us is that it is one law for me and one law for thee. Hey folks, that was an excerpt from my show, Rebel Roundup. Now, to get the full meal deal, why not go to Rebel News Plus, sign up, and never miss a Rebel News Plus show in the future.